In this video, I'll provide a basic overview and operation of the mobile air supply unit. The unit is equipped with an onboard compressor, electrical motor, and a diesel engine. The compressor is capable of filling two SCBA bottles simultaneously. This unit is approximately 14 and a half feet long by four feet wide and weighs just under 7,000 pounds. The trailer is equipped with trailer brakes and a pendle hitch connection. To power the unit on diesel, you must first turn on the battery switch located in this compartment. Turn the switch to on and close the door. After the battery switch has been turned on, we're ready to start the diesel engine. Turn the selector switch to diesel. Ensure that auto run mode is pressed in. Also ensure that the emergency stop switch is pulled out. Next, depress the preheat button for about five to 10 seconds. We're ready to turn the key. When turning the key, turn to the right just for a second or two and then release. Do not operate this unit on diesel power when inside of a station. To operate this unit on electrical power, it requires a 230 volt shore power connection. To operate this unit on electrical power, turn the selector switch to electric. Always pay attention to the indicator lights, which should warn you if the unit is not operating properly. You have two options when filling SCBA cylinders with this unit. You can use the onboard banks, which there are four of. Alternatively, we can bypass the banks and fill directly from the compressor. This is the method for filling an SCBA cylinder with the onboard filling bank. The first step is to set the regulator pressure. To set the regulator pressure, we need to introduce air into the system from one of the four onboard banks. Simply turn one of the knobs labeled from bank to introduce air into the system. Then set your regulator to the desired operating pressure. Most bottles operate at 4,500 PSI but you should check your manufacturer's recommended specification to ensure proper filling pressure. Some modern cylinders have a 5,500 PSI rating, while older cylinders might have a 2,200 PSI rating. After you set your regulator pressure, it's important to close all valves, including all air banks. Open the filling chamber in the rear of the unit by pushing down on the bar and control the door as it opens. Insert the cylinder into the sleeve and attach the threaded connection. Ensure that the bleed valve is completely closed, but do not over tighten it. Next, open the cylinder. Always remember to open the cylinder completely. Slide the cylinder down into the sleeve and close the filling chamber door. Now that we have our cylinder in the filling chamber, we can begin the filling process. In this demonstration, I'm only filling one bottle and I placed it in fill number two. As previously mentioned, the system will fill two bottles simultaneously if so desired. Pay attention to which sleeve you place the cylinder in. Any remaining air in the cylinder will be indicated on the gauge. So since I'm using fill number two, I'm going to go ahead and open it all the way. Next, I'm going to look at my four banks. Always start filling with the lowest bank. I'm going to slowly open it until the needle barely moves. It's important to fill the cylinder slowly. If you fill a cylinder too quickly, the air inside will heat. As the air cools, it will cause the pressure in the cylinder to drop. 
During the filling process, I'm going to maintain focus on my bank gauge and my fill gauge. When these two gauges are at the same pressure, it's time to move on to another bank. My goal with this bottle is 4500 PSI. If I don't have enough pressure remaining in the first bank, I can close the first bank valve and move on to the next bank. Once again, I'm going to open the valve slowly and allow the cylinder to slowly fill until I reach my target pressure of 4500 PSI. When I reach my target pressure, I'm going to make sure all my valves are completely closed. Make sure the fill valves are also closed. When our cylinder is filled to the appropriate pressure and all our valves are completely closed, we can remove it from the filling chamber. To remove the bottle, depress the handle and open the door. It's a reverse process from earlier. Close the cylinder completely. Next open the bleed valve. Air will escape at a high pressure. If air escapes for more than a couple seconds, recheck the cylinder valve to make sure it's fully closed. Next remove the threaded connection. Secure the cylinder in a safe location. Close and secure the fill chamber door. Your other option is to fill directly from the onboard compressor. This is the method on how to fill an SBA cylinder directly from the onboard compressor. First, locate the bypass knob and open it fully. Locate the appropriate fill valve for your cylinder. You can fill two cylinders simultaneously if required. Once the fill valves are open completely, the compressor will be filling the cylinders directly. This operation is a bit slower than filling from banks, but can be helpful in a long duration filling. These knobs are labeled two bank. They are for filling the onboard storage banks. The onboard banks are rated for 6,000 PSI. After every filling operation, you should ensure that the onboard banks are completely full. We fill them by opening the valves and running the compressor. The high pressure hose reel is located in the front of the trailer and is used for remotely filling scuba tanks. There is a toolbox mounted on the front of the trailer. It contains miscellaneous tools to aid in the filling operation. Before removing the air supply from the building, always be sure to disconnect the shore power. When the shore power is connected, it's very, very important to ensure that the wheel chock is in place to prohibit movement of the vehicle. You will also note that there is a rope attached to the wheel chock. Always attach this rope to the front of the trailer. This rope will hopefully ensure that the unit is not removed from the building before the shore power connection is removed. That would be bad. This is a brief overview of the unit. It should be replaced by a more thorough training session.